Hi, if you are going to use NDI, you mean like, do you need a specific cable or just like... You Cat 5 or Cat 6 is perfectly fine. Oh? Yeah, we, 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 we tend to use Cat 6 more so just because of uh, running longer distances and voltage and so mm -hmm. forth. But yeah, Cat 6, Cat 6 is fine. So it looks the one like... Thing, the one thing I would, would recommend um, with, with NDI yep. is using a network switch with PoE that's a managed switch. So oh. Netgear does a great job with a couple of lines of what they do mm -hmm. that actually have profiles set into them as well for NDI. Uh -huh. So one of the biggest things with NDI okay. is that whenever, you know, a typical, a typical data centric switch, mm -hmm. you know, if you're, if you're getting, if you're getting your email or if you're downloading video, yeah. and it takes an extra half second to download. You don't even know this difference. Mm -hmm. Whenever you're transmitting video between point A and point B, on the other hand, any latency in that can make be a, a big difference exactly so that's oh. where the, that's where that's where a, a good a good switch that's designed for av applications makes a difference yeah so yeah so so you need a um, kind of like how to receive the videos uh, maybe like on your computer i mean so, like you need yeah. some specific some software or something yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. so but that's the thing about ndi is the, since it's kind of an open source type of thing oh. ndi tools mm -hmm. from ndi has a full a full portfolio of receiving tools and okay. then and then we make some specific options like multi-view like that's what this software is yeah where if i want to bring in multiple cameras and see them at one particular time i can do oh. that kind of stuff yep um we do bird dog central which is a routing type of software so if i have multiple cameras or multiple sources and i want to route them to different receivers in different locations i can mm -hmm. do that through central so yeah that's the thing about us. We're, you know, it's not just a, we're not, we're not a hardware company only. We, uh, we do the hardware, also, we do the software, yeah. we make it usable, the full works. So, I mean, like, uh, so you don't need to use a switcher if all those videos are already in your computer. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So you can go live and use the software. Yep. 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 Cool. Yep. And then you can, you know, and then it, it, depending on what you're doing with it, if you're trying to, if you're trying to send it somewhere for editing, or if you're trying to uh, stream this out, or whatever else, there's other software and other programs and so forth that do that kind of okay, stuff. Too. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Zoom. So, is there any 4K Pinto Zoom? Absolutely. Yeah. So the big one oh, there. Big that's one. yep. That's one oh, of them. Yeah. Okay. And then we also have the, a P400 that is not out. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, it's over there. Okay. So that one also is. Yeah. Okay. So what's the difference between these two? Uh, the bigger one has a has a much larger uh, image sensor in it. Oh. So it's better in low light applications yep. and more like theater type applications and mm -hmm. so forth. Um, we sell a lot of these though in the houses of worship, um, schools. Know, that kind of application as well. mm -hmm. so it just depends on what the what the application is which one i would do so the ndi is like a protocol that kind of stuff it is yeah uh, yeah yeah it's it, 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 it's it's a you know in ndi the, the, the cool thing is it is, it is video transport it's pan tilt zoom functionality mm -hmm. it's the metadata that goes along with something so all, 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 the, all, the, all the time stamping and all the rest of the stuff in it uh, so it does all of it yeah. you know Something like SDI, on the other hand, you know, just, is, is just, just the video. Yeah. You know? So, you know, you know, in that world, which which we you know, we, we we play in SDI too. You can you can run SDI out with cameras or HDMI or USB. <laughs> like we do all of it. We do all of it. So, um, compared to the IP, I mean, like uh, it's pretty much the same stuff, or like it, on the surface, it's the same. Yeah. But NDI takes that that part of it and expands it on both sides. Uh, so you mean like some kind of meta uh, the control PDZ control exactly and and also it's more about it's more about um, doing doing that video in a lower latency format. Oh, right. Because like for us, um, one, one of the reasons we built we started building cameras about three years ago mm. was we wanted to be able to take the take the image stream from the camera and then immediately turn that into NDI. So, you know, because before that we were making converters, so you had a camera, and the camera was spitting out HDMI or SDI into a box. And oh, box yeah, yeah, yeah. Playing. So it's like this conversion has a frame of latency, then this box has a frame of latency. Yeah, you need to convert. 
yeah, twice. Then, then yeah. you're like two, three, four frames latency by the time it's over. Yeah. So with us doing NDI in the camera, and also we really kind of focus on full NDI, not HX, which HX is a higher, is a higher compression rate. Mm. It's lower bandwidth, but it takes time to compress it. Mm. So there's actually more latency. So for us, we have one frame of latency on the input side and one frame of latency on the output side. Okay. That's it. So yeah. if you're doing 60 frames a second, that's 18 milliseconds. Yeah. It's nothing. <laughs> it's yeah, nothing. it's nothing. <clears throat> yeah. So you 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 will need those to be like important into the computer, the kind of stuff. Correct, correct. So if you think about the think about it, you put you put a camera. Yep. Camera for capturing the content, a computer and software to manage the content. Yep. And then a converter at the other end of it to display that content then on a television or convert it off into something else. You know. So the the network is the transport and the management of all of it, but you have to you know you gotta get the image in from the camera, and you gotta get the image out on the other side go into a television or to a monitor so or a video it, wall. I mean like NDI is just a protocol so it's it, it, it's, uh, is it possible to use this protocol and just use the computer software to maybe like absolutely oh so yeah, uh, yeah. so you if you're just going to use it with your computer you don't even need those no, boxes not at all. Oh, okay not at all. Yeah. so yeah. if you want a display maybe on a display though <clears throat> then you need absolutely but, okay. yeah but if you were you know if you were doing a you know, if you were if you were filming something for like a YouTube channel or for a streaming channel or something like that, you just need the camera and a computer. Yeah. And then you stream it wow. back out to the internet. Well, that's you awesome. <laughs> yeah. So, so the converters, uh, the converters are just converting other sources, to other things. You know, like there are there are other cameras out there, like some professional broadcast level cameras that don't have NDI built in. So we can take their outputs and convert it into NDI. Filters. So. It said Wi-Fi and DI, so it's just wireless. Yep, and that's and that, that's one of our new. That's the the new X120 camera. That's a small one you see with a little antenna on it. Oh, that, that one. Over wireless. You can put that into a location, and then over Wi-Fi. It will actually stream the NDI into into your network and so forth. So, um, so really cool because you don't mean like have the, to, you don't have to run a cable to it. Oh uh, yeah, you know? but I mean like the latency. Uh, so we're know. using yep yep so we're using uh, NDI HX on that which is which is the higher compression option. Oh so it's yeah. It's about two frames of latency. Okay. On that, but it's not it's still not bad. So what's that software over That there? software is Fleet Manager. So if I had if I had 20 cameras in a, in a building or something like that, yep. and I needed to do firmware updates, through oh, that okay. I have the ability to, to see what- Control everything. Yeah, 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 exactly. Kind of monitor, monitor what firmware options are running and so forth, be able to you know, push a firmware from a central location out to multiple units. Okay, okay. Instead of, instead of going around with a USB stick to update <laughs> them and updating them, I can just sit in one location and go. This guy, exactly connect. But this one, you can just, it's, it's kind of cool. It's uh, expensive, but it can be. Yeah. Yeah, I think okay. that's pretty much it. Yeah, cool. thanks. No worries, yeah, thanks. <laughs> Take care. Sure.